homes and things and in today's video we are going to be touring the raven the raven is out here it's a live oak home or is this a magnolia i think this is a magnolia home it's out here at wayne fire homes in albany georgia i can't wait to show it to you let's get into it all right y'all again this is the raven it's a three bedroom two baths out here at wayne fire homes in albany georgia beautiful home this home actually has an option for a side porch as you can see from the decor pics you do have an option to put a porch down on that end to the right there this one does not come with the porch so let's go on inside and i'll show you what it looks like All right, so this house to me has a really good layout. You'll see what I mean in a moment. This is the view that you see when you walk in. You have your living room area here. And I love the feature wall where your TV would go. You have space for, I would say, at least a 65 inch up there. Looks really good. If you're not interested in that area, having that uh, design, then you can absolutely order it without it but this is your living room guys lots of space in here nice and bright i just absolutely love it again this is the raven it's out at uh wayne fryer homes in albany georgia and i just absolutely love the layout in here The border and trim is really pretty in this house. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the design above the uh, windows in here. The fact that it has a, a ceiling fan. There's a lot of uh, circulation, air flowing in here. Really nice. And I love the, the pop of color in the dining room area. It kind of separates the kitchen uh, from the dining room and living room. So really lovely. They put a table here in front of this window and you absolutely have enough space to walk past. So you have the separation, right? Everything has, uh, it, it's like it's, it's in its own room, which is really, really nice. So I'll step back and let you see just how much space you have from the table to walk through to the kitchen. Love that pretty blue color, absolutely nice. I love those big, that big spoon and fork too. I haven't been able to find them in the store, but I remember something like that, a wooden spoon that my grandmother had when I was growing up. So it just kind of made me a little nostalgic, you know, to see those spoons. So anybody else have those wooden spoons growing up? So you have a pantry right here, which is an absolute plus in any house. It's nice to have an additional storage for your food items or even appliances if you don't need that much space for food. Uh, you have a huge refrigerator in this kitchen and you have a butcher block uh, square island in here. So really, really pretty. I'll give you the opportunity to walk around the kitchen and look at all the features. But I think they did a good job with making sure that you had everything you need. This isn't the biggest kitchen, but it's certainly functional and there's a lot of light coming in. You have three huge windows over your sink area as well as those windows in the dining room. So really lovely. Love the additional storage space here around um, these windows. Just a really good job with making sure that you have all of your storage needs in the kitchen. I can absolutely see me watching outside in my big backyard, maybe watching my husband garden or if there's a lake out there or just, I don't know, 
it's so nice to have all of these windows just letting a lot of light come in and especially if you have a beautiful backyard that you can look out on uh, while you're in the kitchen really nice so from the kitchen this view gives you a look clear into the living room through the dining room you can imagine what it would be like to have company over or have all your family and friends gathering really beautiful you also have this laundry room that has so much space in it and it has a door that closes so if you have company and you're doing laundry you can close the door uh, if you don't want the washer and dryer going uh, while you're trying to entertain or you may have a mess in there because you're doing laundry you know so your back door is here you have storage space you have a space for folding clothes and then your washer and dryer goes over here really lovely that you have cabinets instead of uh, wire racks in here so that's a really nice plus When I open these cabinets, I think about all the stuff that I can, additional stuff that I can keep in here, like extra uh, laundry detergent. You know, you catch stuff like on sale, cleaning supplies, uh, cleaning rags and stuff like that. And a, a lot of times you may not purchase them because you have nowhere to store them. But this is a great option for keeping like extra stuff or stuff that you want to keep kind of hidden out of the way to keep it neat. Really nice. Now all of your bedrooms are on the opposite side of the house because of the layout. Typically most mobile or modular homes will have additional bedrooms on one side and the master on the other. But this layout is different. So off the living room you have your first bedroom here. This is an additional bedroom. A nice size uh, space in here. It is carpeted whereas the rest of the house is not. And I love the fact that even though the walls are in the bedrooms they still have that trim and border like the rest of the house so really nice you've got a standard closet in this bedroom and uh, i'll put the size of this room on the screen All right, so that's gonna about do it for bedroom for the first bedroom. It's actually listed as bedroom number three on the blueprint, and that's why you see bedroom number three on the screen. This is bedroom number two, slightly smaller, but still a nice size bedroom. I'll give you the opportunity to look around. Of course, when you visit the homes, things may may look, you know, a little disarrayed. But remember, these houses are taken apart and they're delivered to wherever you live. And when you receive the house, when it's handed over to you, it'll be perfect. Okay, so if you do see a little split in the wall or what have you, it's because this house wasn't completely put together. It was set up for the tour. This next room is the guest bath or additional bathroom. I love that it has a transom window over the shower tub combo. It is a nice size bathroom and um, it is nice and bright. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the primary bedroom, which is on this corner of the living room. And it is really a nice size bedroom. It is super bright in here, all of the sunlight coming in. It's more uh, 
it, it's a longer type room. You know what I mean? Like, it's narrow on one end and longer on the other. But it does make for a nice size room. I can see a king size headboard between those two windows. And I personally like the layout of this bedroom. Really lovely. Really, really lovely. You've got your primary closet on this side. A wonderful transom window in here bringing in natural light so you don't always have to depend on the uh, electricity to give you light in the daytime. It'll be nice and bright. You've got a lot of space for your needs. Um, you may want to consider adding additional shelving halfway down the longest side of the closet and then leaving the shorter side for your long items that'll help you to maximize the space and then on the opposite end of the bedroom you have your primary bathroom you've got lots of storage in here love the fact that they brought in that pretty blue from the dining room and broke up the gray really nice color blocking in here nice long mirror over your double sinks You've got hooks in the walls in this one for towels, which is an absolute plus. You got a transom window um, in your toilet room, which is absolutely wonderful. And then you've got that big, beautiful shower behind the door. I love that door, I always have. You guys know I say that every time I see it. Um, the fact that it has real seating in this room is such a plus for me. And then you have a huge shower head in here. So really nice, really nice towel. Love the waterfall shower head that comes over you. So really, really pretty. Sorry the door was taped up so I can't open it. And that'll stay there until they transport. All right, so we'll take one more look around this beautiful bathroom. Give you a chance to see a better view of the uh, double sinks in here and that big beautiful mirror. It's been such a pleasure touring this home. Hey, if you're watching on, this on YouTube and you're not following us on Newsbreak, make sure you go to the description box, download the Newsbreak app, and follow the Mobile Home Diva. You'll more than likely see these videos before they get to YouTube and it'll greatly support our channel. Uh, Wayne Fire Your Homes doesn't post prices, so if you're interested in the pricing for this beauty, make sure you check them out. They're in the description box below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.